Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Samson Williams here, um, back in DC, AKA Chocolate City, um, back from Dubai. So I want to share a couple of things because uh, next week we'll be in um, consensus for blockchain week uh, in New York. And so a couple of highlights from my trip to Dubai, we're going to talk about BizDev, blockchain conferencing as a thing, and I guess we're going to talk about the 45 free zones in the UAE. So starting off with BizDev, when people say, hey, I'm in BizDev, or you're spending so much time, energy, and money in BizDev, it's really because you haven't perfected your sales funnel, your sales process. The reason you haven't perfected your sales funnel or your sales process is because your marketing isn't quite where it needs to be. Um, here's an example, particularly for folks in the blockchain space. Binance got hacked yesterday or this morning. And so 99.9% .9 of people, they have no clue what Binance is. They have no clue what an exchange is. And so because they don't know what Binance is and they don't have any clue what uh, an exchange is, going forward, when they hear of blockchain, cryptocurrencies, tokens, tokens uh, stable coins, et cetera, they'll think, oh yeah, you guys get hacked a lot. What that highlights is a fundamental need for a fundamental need for education. Your customers, your consumers, your community, they need to know what is your good product or service? How does it benefit or impact me, the WIFM? What's in it for me? Right now, and particularly in the blockchain space, we tend to talk in a bubble and we tend to talk to very limited people in the bubble. That makes customer acquisition incredibly hard, incredibly difficult. That's why you'll find that many people are spending tons of money on BizDev when they don't need to do BizDev. They need to do more educational market about the entire ecosystem. So keep that in mind. If your consumers, your customers don't know what it is you're trying to sell them, they absolutely cannot buy it. Particularly if you're a custodian, because what does that even mean? So that's not my little rant on BizDev. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is conferencing, blockchain conferencing. Globally, blockchain conferencing is at a low from 2017 and 2018. Uh, for instance, the Dubai uh, World, the Dubai Futures Blockchain Conference, there was only about 15,000 people there this year, and that's still a great number of people. However, there's twice as many as that last year, a little bit over that. And so consensus is next, next week, and I'm thinking who's actually going to show up, how many people will be there. We anticipate seeing less Gucci boys. If you don't know what a Gucci boy is, just ask me offline. We'll have a beer and we'll talk bad about them. Um, but more important, key stakeholders will be, should be at consensus. I'm going to give you three key stakeholders who are going to be there that I'm interested in seeing and stalking. Um, and when I say seeing and stalking, Number one is George Pullen from the Commodities and Future Trade Commission. You know why I stalk George Pullen? Because in the future, everything will be tokenized. All this blockchain stuff, everything will be tokenized. And when everything gets tokenized, the CFTC, the Commodities, Futures, and Trade Commission, they're going to be at the forefront from a regulatory perspective for tokenization. The SEC is great, but those are for securities. Tokenization, that's the CFTC. So if you don't know George Pullen and you're not following the CFTC and the CFTC labs and what they're doing, and you haven't read their uh, public enforcement manual yet, it just dropped today, so it's very doubtful that you have, check them out, follow them along, because that's going to be a hot topic at consensus and going forward, because you can quote me on this, everything will be tokenized. Uh, point number two, Deloitte Ireland, and Deloitte has their Deloitte 2019 blockchain survey. The good folks from the Deloitte Ireland Blockchain Labs, uh, led by Anthony Day. We love Anthony Day, even though he's a vegan. Uh, don't give him too much grief, but just know he's a vegan. You can't really trust vegans that much. Um, they went out and surveyed the industry leaders. So what did the industry leaders say? You can actually download their report, the Deloitte Ireland report. I'll drop a link somewhere down below so you can do that. Number three, the ASD token New York event on May 16th. Uh, put their link down below. The reason I'm stalking this conference or this meeting, it's in New York, it's part of Blockchain Week, is because Jamil Shek. Uh, Jamil Shek teaches at Columbia, NYU, uh, and CUNY universities, little things like AI, big data, performance management, uh, blockchain, etc. And so when he says that real, that real estate and tokenization is possible, you want to listen to him. You want to, I want to hear how he walks people through that process because, again, going back to number one with George Pullen and the CFTC, everything's going to be tokenized. I just want to hear from Jamil Shek, where's tokenization at in the real estate realm? Uh, my last point is here 
is for, there are 45 free trade zones, or 45 free zones in the UAE, in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, this is actually important for you, but um, we're, I'm going to do a lecture for the Uni uh, University of New Hampshire School of Laws, blockchain program, uh, smart cities, blockchain and government. So we're gonna talk about some of the free zones in the UAE and how they roll up into the smart cities agenda and how the UAE and Dubai in particular is embracing blockchain. So I'm gonna give you five quick points about the free zones. In Dubai and the UAE, you can have 100% foreign ownership of a business. Excuse me. This is new as of August of 2018. You can have 100% import and export tax exemptions. There's a lot of tax exemptions, the next year tax exemptions. 100% repatriation of capital and profit. You can have a 50 year corporate tax exemption for your business that you 100% own in one of the free zones, which is amazing. There's zero personal income taxes. Love that. And they'll help you recruit talent from around the world to come to Dubai or the Emirates as a whole. So again, 45 free, 45 free zones in the UAE. I'll drop the link down below. Check them out at your leisure. And so that's it. We look forward to seeing you all next week at the Blockchain Week in New York. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. And that's it for the moment. Thank you for listening to my rambling. We'll see you in New York. Bye-bye. To register for the Equity Crowdfunding Masterclass, visit www.crowdyadvisors.com.